face. Today's video is going to be for a simple kind of smoky bronzy eye that I'm wearing right now. It's just really quick simple makeup tutorial. I'm also going to do like a little nail tutorial towards the end of the video. It's kind of a tutorial more so something I just like to do on my nails when I don't have a lot of time but I want something other than just like plain color. I am using my gold palette today so I'm super excited about that. I love it. You can create so many pretty wearable looks with this. I also teamed up with Maybelline for this video to show you guys or to tell you guys about their brand new mascara the Colossal Chaotic Mascara. So I'm going to be using this in today's tutorial. You guys know if you watch my videos how much I love my regular Colossal Volume Mascara. So I was so excited when I saw they came out with the Colossal Chaotic. So it's supposed to give you like a disorganized eyelash um, look because you do apply it two different ways which I'll show you in the tutorial. But super excited about this so I'll have all the info below along with Maybelline's YouTube channel. Everything else I'm using on my face today I will also put down below for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy this. Get ready with me. It is a voiceover. My last one was a talk through, which I think I prefer talk throughs, um, but I know a lot of you guys do like voiceovers. So that's what today's video is. So I hope that you like it and I will see you afterwards. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur Plus Smooth formula. And then on top of that, I'm going to put my foundation, the Makeup Forever foundation, straight onto my face. I love that this is a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't look or feel heavy on the skin. So I really, really like how this looks. Then I'm just finishing blending that in. Then I will take my concealer. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal, and I'm just going to take it on my little sponge applicator, put it under my eyes and around my nose, wherever I have redness, and just kind of blend it in. And then of course I'm going to set that with a translucent setting powder to take away the shine, make sure I don't have any creasing throughout the day. Now onto the eyes. I'm gonna start with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Creamy Beige. It doesn't look super special in the pan, but it's such a great color. It's like a dark, um, I guess it's like a brown color. It's really great if you're doing a smokier look. And it also prevents the shadows from creasing, which I need because it is super hot already where I live. So I'm gonna go into my palette taking this matte brown shade into my crease. I'm gonna take the dark bronze color on a flat shader brush. This is gonna go all over my lid, but stopping at like the crease area. I want that brown to still show through. Then taking the darkest color in the palette, I'm just gonna slightly build it up in my outer corner. Get a little bit more of a darker bronzy look. I'm also going to drag that color underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take the inhibited shade and use it as my highlight underneath my brow bone. I'm also going to run it in my inner tear duct area to brighten up the eyes and make them appear bigger. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara and just set my brows with this. So put on some actual shadow in my brows to fill them in. Then taking the Unstoppable Eyeliner by Maybelline, I'm just going to run this along my waterline and a little bit on my upper lash line. I love that it's waterproof so it stays all day. Then the star of the show, the Colossal Chaotic Mascara. You can see the brush kind of like tilts towards the front. I'm just gonna follow the instructions on the packaging so you apply it normally. Then you turn the brush and apply it side to side. So here is another close-up shot of this brush. Just going to apply it how you would normally apply your mascara on the upper and lower lash line. And then before you tilt it, make sure your um, mascara is a little bit dry because if you just start going into this right away, it will clump them up. But if you let it set a little bit, um, it works really, really well, kind of messes up the lashes and gives you that disorganized look. So now onto my bronzer, I'm just going to use a little bit to sculpt out my cheeks and give a little bit of definition to my face. I'm going to take my blush, pop it onto my cheeks. It's a super natural color. I didn't want anything that was going to stand out too much. For my lips, I'm going to combine two of my favorite color sensational lipsticks in Blushing Bud and Blush Beige. So I'm going to take Blushing Bud and put it all over my lips. And I'm going to take the blush beige color and I'm just going to pop it into the center of my bottom lip. Take a little highlight and make your lips appear bigger. And these two colors combined make the prettiest pink lip. Now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm going to use the Master Highlight in the shade Nude. And it's just going to give you a really subtle glow to your face. Nothing too shimmery or sparkly. I like it because it's just very subtle and it works really well with this eye look. So here is the finished makeup look. I really like this. I hope that you guys like it too. If you try out this mascara, definitely use the hashtag brushwithchaos so that we can all see your photos. 
So I hope that you would like this makeup look. Let's move on to the nail tutorial. So I'm using my Rebel Bouquet nail polish. Then I'm also going to take my Color Show nail laser liners to actually do the nail art. So all I'm going to do is draw some lines from the tip of my nail. Super simple design. I'm going to layer up the colors. Looks a little sloppy at first, but the more you layer your polishes, you get a really cool look to your nails. And I've done something similar to this before. This time I wanted to do from the tip of the nails, um, and I think it looked really, really cool. So here is what the finished manicure looks like. I did it on my middle and ring fingers, and then also my thumbs. And it just is super simple when you want something fast, so I hope that you like it. I love my nails, just a little bit something extra. If I don't do like stripes on my nails, I do polka dots or just something very simple if I just don't want to have plain nails for the day or the night or whatever. So I hope that you like this video. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more like quick makeup, quick nails into one video, just like super simple like this. Um, Because I think they're fun to do to kind of combine both of them. And all the products that I use will be down below for you guys. So thank you for watching and subscribing. And I will see you very soon. Bye.